It is Voltage Modular from Cherry Audio. And this is a brand new modular synthesizer environment. And it's a super easy to use, awesome sounding modular synthesizer. It's basically kind of like having a vintage, uh, a virtual Euro rack experience because these are all Euro rack sizes. Everything is really easy and straightforward. There's no hidden menus. There's nothing behind the screen. Literally, you run it just like any analog synthesizer. You can drag cables however you like. You can uh, you can move modules freely. If you want more modules, you can just grab them and drag things in. And we've got about 40 modules currently. You can see we very easy to move stuff around. You can move the cabinets around. You can pipe audio in from uh, from your host. And while we're talking about that, I should talk about uh, it's works on uh, Mac, works on PC as a VST plugin, as an audio units plugin on Mac. Uh, we're probably going to support Pro Tools AAX format as well. And uh, it also runs as a standalone, so very flexible there. And the the bigger picture paradigm is that we're going to sell it in an app store and you can buy packages of modules or individual modules and third parties will very easily be able to develop for it. We have an, a development environment app that's really easy to use. It's visual based and it uses Java code which is relatively easy to code so it's very easy to make modules. We were able to make like these drum modules where all came together super fast and these, these drum modules are actually made from patches inside of Voltage. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with it. It also does poly, unlike most modulars. <laughs> Show you one of those patches. In addition to the uh, to the CV and gate outputs, you can do uh, do MIDI. Now, can you send this a uh, DC coupled interface? And yeah, you know, we've been getting that question a lot. Yeah, we're probably going to end up doing something where you can get voltage in and out of it. Uh, we've been definitely talking about that. A lot of people have asked us about it. It doesn't have that capability right now, but it's certainly something that we're we're pondering how, how to do. You can certainly do it if you're using something like uh, Expert Sleeper's Silent Way. Uh, you can certainly use it with that, but we want to build that functionality into it. It would probably be a module that just had CV I.O. on it and a hardware thing that replicated it so you can get things in and out. As it stands, you can take audio in from your host. We've got four separate inputs from that, so it's really easy to sidechain into it using your DAW. And the live audio is really cool. You can feed you know, any sort of live or uh, pre-recorded signal into it and use it as a processor. So getting back to my poly patch. Poly using MIDI up here, instead of using the monophonic pitching gate up here, we've got MIDI jacks, like virtual MIDI jacks, and we've got these converter modules that converts four voices into, if you watch the LEDs, you can see it cycling through the voices, and we've got a MIDI overflow, so you can go to a second one, so like this particular patch I've got six voices, and I've got all the oscillators and envelopes for six voices running into one filter. And then I've got all these controls up here that I've assigned to my con my MIDI controller here. It's very, very easy to assign things. If you want to assign a knob to something, you can just right click on it and go to performance assign and say, I'm going to have this on knob seven. And there you go, frequency CV on knob seven. And that corresponds down here with the controller. And I can very easy contr easily assign controllers. Are there, uh, are there any modules that are modeled after real world modules? Uh, the filter? Are they all original? Um, they're, currently, they're all original modules because uh, out the gate, we just wanted to get everything covered in terms of having you know, your standard oscillators, filters, uh, amplifiers, so forth. So uh, the filter is certainly uh, a classic ladder style Vogue 24 dB per octave filter, although ours actually has band pass, high pass, and, and uh, low pass. Uh, so that one is definitely that kind of model. We haven't specifically modeled anything, but that actually takes us right to what I was talking about, where we're really uh, open to other people developing for it. We'd love for people to do it. If somebody wants to make a killer distorted MS-20 filter, then by all means, we'd love for them to do it, and we'd love to sell it in our app store and uh, let people download it. So that's kind of the idea. Uh, right now, it's, it's Windows and OS X, and uh, VST on Mac and Windows, AU on Mac, uh, it also runs as a standalone, so uh, pretty much covers all of that. And uh, getting back to your question about if we modeled anything specifically, the one thing we did do is we did all these drum modules. And as you can see, these are like your classic drawing style. We 
did an 808 style sequencer and uh, 909 kick, super flexible. Build distortion into it, so you can do fun stuff with that. So get 808 kick, 808 snare, hats, claps, the classic Simmons SDS style. So these are obviously modeled after uh, finish style rolling type stuff. But we give it a little more flexibility in the parameters. They're not samples, it's all synthesis, so we can do whatever with it. It's not, you know, we can really mutate the sounds quite a bit, get some really interesting things out of it. What sort of price point are we looking at? Um, we haven't established it for sure. It'll probably come out in about April, and we're looking at probably about 150 bucks for a package that gives you a probably 30 modules or so, uh, maybe more. Uh, we'll probably do separate packages like for the drum stuff and like I said when other people have modules uh, you'll be able to buy those individually so can you show me how the modules are uh, set up in a browser here are they separated by oscillators right now they're literally just sitting in this big list because to be perfectly frank we've developed this whole thing in about four months and we spent our time actually making modules that work instead of making a really pretty interface but this will definitely be we will absolutely have subcategories Categories of types of modules and different ways to sort them to make it really easy to drag and drop them in and is see there, all your modules. Is there a number of modules that you guys are shooting for at launch? Well, um, we're we're somewhere around 40 right now, and I think we thought we were going to have about a dozen. So it really we can really develop them pretty quick. Um, I think we're shooting for probably hopefully around 100 when we launch, but we'll see where that goes and we'll see how many other people we get on board. But uh, we obviously we want to have a great deal of flexibility, and uh, we're hoping to have like. I and emulations of real hardware stuff. We're talking to a lot of people here about doing doing hardware versions, or uh, doing software versions of hardware existing Eurorack modules. So the idea is we want it to be really easy to use, really hands-on, no limitations, and be really affordable. It's not going to be an expensive system. It won't cost you five hundred dollars to get going with this thing, and there will be no limitations on how many uh, how many modules you can run at once. If you want to, uh, you know, if you want to open up. A dozen oscillators or 20 oscillators, then you know, go Will for it. Be, uh, <laughs> do you know if this is going to be uh, multi thread capable? Uh, that's it's a good question, actually. I believe it is going to be. I don't want to say for sure because they literally have just been fooling around with this in the code, and I think we figured out a way to make that happen, which will really give us a lot more power. So I think the answer to that is almost certainly yes, where it's definitely being looked into. It runs pretty well right now, but I think we can get even more. Obviously, if we can multi-thread it, it's going to be even better. It will be able to you know, run in, in a single instance. Perfect. All right, well, thank you. Still here over at Voltage Modular. And uh, what we're going to look at is down here they have an actual editor for building your own modules. So I wanted to kind of showcase this and uh, watch tell us a little bit about this. Absolutely. So this is the Voltage Module Designer. And it makes it as easy as possible for third-party developers to build their own modules. It's literally a question of just drag and dropping jacks and knobs, uh, choosing skins for them, sizing them however you want it to be sized, dragging in your own background art, adding jacks, inputs, we'll grab an output, creating labels, uh, adding buttons and uh, some of the other controls. We have LEDs, we have uh, switches and animations you can add, there's labels. Um, you can even have, we have a canvas that allows you to draw anything you want to draw or basically create your own controls. Uh, and you can say, you know, like I say, you just drag it in, set some properties, and then all of the coding is all done in a full Java environment. So you can write modules very, very easily with a few lines of code. Or if you want, you can create your own complex DSP, you can uh, build multi-threaded modules, you have the 3D rendering engines of Java, the, the streaming uh, internet features of Java, everything is available to you. So these modules can be very powerful. Uh, in addition, we give you a lot of, uh, of basic DSP components to work with, like biquad filters and delays and noise sources and distortions and tube preamp effects and all these uh, building blocks that you can use to build modules as well. So the programming is very powerful, and uh, and once you've built a module, 
Uh, part of the beauty of it, because it, it compiles to Java bytecode, is that all modules that are built for Voltage are automatically cross-platform. They run on Mac and PC. You don't have to compile them in 32-bit and 64-bit formats. You just compile them once and they'll run everywhere. And then the modules you build can be submitted to our Voltage module store and you can actually sell them. Uh, if they meet our requirements, they can be sold and you can generate money from, the, from your efforts. So we're really hoping to get uh, a lot of third parties involved in building modules and help us make Voltage into more than just an instrument, make it into a giant platform for modular synthesis. We're really excited about it. That looks excellent. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.